This video is dedicated to those who are missing home and who used to love Buhe. Uh, I mostly just wanted to share uh, the singing part, but I guess for those who don't know what the celebration is about, I'll just give you a little detail about it. And I hope you enjoy this. One day, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain to pray. As Jesus was praying, he was transformed so that his face shined like the sun and his clothes became white as light. And suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared and start telling Jesus how he would leave this world. And Peter said, Um, excuse me? Let's make three shelters as memorials, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But as Peter was speaking, a bright cloud came over them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my dearly loved son, who brings me great joy. Listen to him. The disciples were terrified ah! and fell face down on the ground. Jesus came over and touched them and said, Get up. Don't be afraid. And when the disciples looked up, Moses and Elijah were gone. And that is the story of the transfiguration. And we call it Buhe. Buhe means light. And the mountain they were praying on is called Debra Tabor. So we call the celebration Debra Tabor or Buhe. And the shepherd that were in the mountain stayed up there, thinking it's still daytime. There are a few things that we do to celebrate Buhe. Uh, one is kids go around uh, singing and praising God. Uh, nowadays, they're praising the owners of the house. Uh, but it's to symbolize the, the news of what the shepherds witnessed while they were in the mountain. The second one is giraffe. So the kids will play this giraffe and it makes like a bang sound and it's really scary so that is also to represent uh, the sound of God that the apostles heard while they were in the mountain and they got scared uh, there is also mulmul dabo that is to represent the shepherds were in the mountain because of the light that there was in the mountain they didn't come back down because they thought it was still daytime and their parents got scared that their kids would get hungry and they prepared a bread called mulmul to take for them. Another thing that is represented is chibbo, which is a torchlight that is also representing when the parents went to see the kids because it was it was nighttime, but the kids were in the mountain and they didn't realize because of so much light that there was because of uh, Jesus Christ, you know, the light there was there. So uh, they took this torch so they can see in the night. And another thing that the chibbo or the torch represents is the light. Those are a few things that we do. Uh, to celebrate Buhe and uh, now I'm going to show you a few videos of kids coming to our homes to sing. So some of them were singing in a modern way where they were praising just the owner of the house and the other one uh, were like the kids from the church so they were praising God which normally should be like that but it was most fun so I hope you enjoy it.
Enjoy this video and learn something new today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye.